Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual. As you can tell, we are going to be going through my monthly manis for February. I absolutely love filming this video. It's so fun and this is just how um, I hold myself accountable for all the racks that I show you guys. So majority of these you've guys seen already that I said I was going to wear. But um, a few of them I kind of snuck in at the end of the month. I really tried to wear mostly pinks and reds this month to try to get some of my untreads out of the way. But you know other polishes happened and i feel like i didn't wear as many as i wanted to like in my last video in january i wore the same amount as 10 um but this was a bit of a shorter month by like three days but yeah let's just dive right into this month so the first one up i wore is one that i mentioned in my valentine's day rack this is vicious circles by kb shimmer hands down this is one of my favorite indie polishes in my collection i think it's just so unique this is probably not the last time you guys are going to hear me mention this but i really do love this color i just think it's so unique i've never seen red hologra holographic glitters like that they're just really really pretty it also kind of reminds me of you know when you see like sea glass at the beach and it's blue it reminds me of like if you saw red sea glass very pretty so yeah that is the first mani i wore vicious circles by kb shimmer the next one up i wore is by color club this is love is close so i didn't really love this one i did it i don't know dusty pinks usually look pretty good on me but maybe it's because of the texture or the silver sparkles in there i'm not sure but this one just didn't look as good on me as i wanted it to but i definitely do still want to try more uh of these polishes in the same collection for color club um the time just hasn't come for that yet but i don't really think color club discontinues their shades too much i've never really seen them never really seen them discontinue too many shades so i'm not in that much of a rush to get them but um yeah i was hoping to love this one more maybe i need to do more experiments on it just try it um again or with different polishes i don't know but um then again i don't really want to force myself to love a polish that i didn't the first time um but yeah maybe i'll see what i can do with this one but yeah that was love is close by color club the next one up is definitely one of my favorites that i wore this is tonics i'm so pretty i knew i was gonna love this before i even tried it uh the shimmer in there is just so delicate and pretty and i really love pinks like this i think they're i don't know i feel like some people kind of see pink on your nails as maybe like too bubbly and like you know girly or whatever but i just really love how soft and gentle this one was i just absolutely love the glow in it i don't know if tonic polish is on a break or if the brand is just no longer making polish but i believe she's on a break don't know how long it's going to be for but the three tonic polishes that i have in my collection i've tried them all and i really like them so i'd really like to try more of her brand but yeah if you guys know what is going on with tonic polish or if she's closed or if she's not let me know in the comments but yeah i'm so pretty definitely one of my favorite pinks in my collection probably going to be in my top 10 video i that i'll eventually do for you guys but yeah that was i'm so pretty by tonic polish the next one up i wore is one that i got tons of compliments on this is zoya's eunice um i said on my instagram this is like the shrek shimmer of polishes it's just so pretty and for us ugly nail polish lovers this is just right up our alley. I don't have too many Zoyas in my collection. Um, if you guys watch my video on brands, I don't have a lot of for specific reasons. But I really, I will say that their staying power on their polishes is amazing. Um, you know, Zoya is a quality brand, I believe. But it's just a bit pricey for me. But um, yeah, I really love this one. I think it's so nice for the winter time as well. That jewel tony aspect. I just thought this one was phenomenal. And like I said lots of compliments you guys because it's a not it's a, such an unusual color that it attracts so much attention people are like "Ooh, what's that on your nails i like it but i don't at the same time because <laughs> it's the ugly pretty but you know i absolutely love this one i thought it was phenomenal and i wore it for almost a week so pretty good that's probably why i didn't get through a lot of other polishes because i really love this one i really did so that was zoya's eunice the next one up i wore it was a twin mani i did with my friend um Rebecca uh, on Instagram. Her Instagram is RL Polished. You guys should definitely follow her. Her swatches are amazing. But yeah, we wore Gluttony and she actually gifted this to me. This is from Different Dimensions. Oh, I love pops of neon in the wintertime, especially not ones that are so in your face. As you guys said, like neons kind of 
can look frightening on me sometimes but this one I really loved the addition with the flakies in there it's coming up a bit more like dark pink but it's definitely a bit more lighter um, it's not coral or anything like that but yeah I love the flakies in there I think this would look really good mad I didn't have a chance to try it and I also want to try it um, with the topper on top that I have in my collection called um, fairy tale by finger paints it was one that I got in a D stash uh, but yeah I think it would look really really cool with this one top but yeah that was my first twin man I ever done on Instagram it was pretty fun um, if you guys want to follow me on there you definitely should but um yeah, I really love that one, and that definitely won't be our last Twin Manny. It was good. <laughs> so that was Different Dimensions Gluttony. Next, I was feeling a winter blue, and this is one that I've wanted to try in my collection ever since I purchased it. This is Nine Zero's Clear Cold Night. This is a beautiful jelly, like, blurple, and it has a whole bunch of holographic glitter in it, ranging from circles to squares to stars. Gorgeous. I do... I think you guys all know with glitter polishes, you know, they can just rush to the bottom and stay there. So you, I did have to put this upside down for like maybe two, three minutes and the glitters came out really, really good. I love this one. I kind of wish I got it back above. I think it's just so unique and it definitely resembles the night sky. Definitely makes you think of a, a like a winter's night um, with just stars piercing through the sky. It's just so pretty. I really like this one. Definitely one of my top choices that I did wear for February. And I'm glad that I got it out, you know, before the springtime starts because I didn't see myself wearing this until wintertime came around or maybe with fall, you know, with the dark brooding blues that we see. But yeah, that one, I really like this one. I thought it was it's very, very unique to my collection. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of like jelly blurples in my collection, so I really, really like this one. So that was Clear Cold Night. Next one up I wore, I received in PR, as you guys saw, this is MJ Lacquer's Purple Rain. This is my first and only solar polish in my collection. Phenomenal. I love this polish. So good. I love it in both states, but I think I love it even more in the blue state with the with that um, that pink shimmer and the flakies. It's just so good. I got a lot of compliments on this one too. Um, but unfortunately, I was in, inside a lot, so nobody really saw the transitional part of me, but I was like, you haven't even seen the coolest part, but that's okay. They will see it when I wear it again in the summertime. So yeah, that was MJ Lacquer's Purple Rain. Next one up is one of my favorites that I wore, and this came out in Polish Pickup in January of 2021. This is Red Eye Lacquer's Opalese. Oh, I wanted this because Moonshine Manny had came out with a polish called Stone Cold Witch, and it looked exactly like this, but it sold out on Black Friday, and I was like, oh man. Then when PPU came around, Red Eye Lacquer came through for you, girl, and I had to pick this one up. It's so pretty. It reminds me of, you know after the sky how the sky looks when it rains and there's a rainbow and it's like an overcast and that gray sky with the colors this definitely reminds me of that it's just so pretty like look at the flakies in there guys come on come on you can't tell me you wouldn't want to wear this on your nails it's gorgeous <laughs> and i really like red eye lacquer this lasted really long on my nails i've heard a lot of good products from them but ppu has raised the shipping and to canada and it is rough it is rough so i don't know how much i'll be purchasing from ppu <laughs> i really only plan to purchase from rewind this year in july so wish me luck but with april's theme and the elements your girl might be in trouble but anyway <laughs> yeah that was oh police by red eye lacquer next one up i kind of wanted to send off like a sench a sultry vibe at the end of February. So I wore Starly's Dopamine. This is described as a berry holographic, but to me it's more of an oxblood, like it's kind of my sweater, like an oxblood, oxblood red, really pretty holographic. This is just so sultry. It stains, has red to usually do, this definitely stains. So if you guys have it and you haven't tried it, I definitely suggest wearing a, a blurring line base coat, but this one is chef's kiss. So good. I said it's like it reminds me of like a lady in red on your nails i just think it's really pretty and oxblood reds are just so classic and sultry to wear it's pretty this looks phenomenal in the sun um when i had swatched it on a swatch wheel i was like oh it's like it's not really that linear holographic but when i uh took it out in the sun on my nails it was right there right in my face so Looks are deceiving with this one, but if you guys are thinking about purchasing it, you definitely should. Um, everything that I can show you guys, of course, I'm going to link down in the comments boot in the description box, as usual. But yeah, that was uh, Starly's Dopamine. And the last one I wore on the last day of February is, you know, 
kind of my send off to February and my hello to March and spring. This is MJ Lacker's Earthly Blessings. This is my definitely, most definitely my favorite white Crelly in my, Crelly in my collection. The neon glitters in there, the hot pink glitters. It's just, it's nothing I've ever seen a polish before. I think it's just so unique and so fun. Really, really captivating our nails too. Again, I got a lot of compliments with this one as well. Um, yeah, definitely one of my favorite Kelly. This reminds me of like a pink rose garden with, and if you guys notice, there's a bit of a uh, red circle glitters in there as well. And it reminds me of roses as well. So it just reminds me of like a really nice springy, like green greenery with pink and then with little like roses popping out. This is spring vibes all around. And I was going to show you guys this on my spring rack, but I had to wear it as soon as possible because spring was coming and yeah, this is just it. So that was my last manicure that I wore in February, MJ Lacquer's Earthly Blessings. All right, guys, that was it for my February monthly manis. Let me know what you guys thought and hopefully I can do a bit more for you guys in March. I feel like March is one, another one of those months that lasts forever. So, you know, hopefully I'll have time to get more manis in <laughs> thank you so much for watching i always appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next one take care